I can't contain my excitement. It's just a few hours away, the quarterfinals clash between India and Ukraine. It's so exciting. The Indian flag and the Ukrainian flag both up there. Now, we cannot be sure about what the pairing would be like, but we could be sure that Ivanchuk will most likely play for Ukraine on board number one. And it will be an amazing matchup between Anand and Ivanchuk. If they both play, it will be so very exciting. These two players have been playing each other since so many years. In fact, I did my research and I figured out that the first time that they played each other was in World Under 16 in 1984 when Anand was just 14 years old. And this is how their uh, thing is. Anand has won until now 29 games. Ivan Chuk 21 games and 84 draws. They have played 134 times against each other. That's simply crazy. Here is one uh, beautiful game between them that I just wanted to show. So let me see if I can pull this up. Yeah. So uh, Anand is black and this is like one of Anand's most famous games. So, he played the Sicilian Nidorf, sorry, classical, bishop g5, e6, queen d2, a6, castles, h6, bishop e3, knight d4, bishop d4, b5, f3, queen a5, a3, and Vichy played e5, bishop e3, bishop e6, king here, bishop e7, g4, rook b8, knight d5, and here, Anand took on d2, and the thing is that Ivanchuk now took on f6 and Anand now decided to recapture back with the pawn which was an amazing decision because generally you don't want to take double pawns right you would take here but what Anand realized is that he would be saving time because the bishop keeps the d6 pawn protected and now his next move h5 beautiful rook g1 and now he took pawn takes and now black to play what would you do so if if white is able to play h3 and get this protected he would be fine but anand instantly goes bishop c4 and the reason why this move is beautiful is because he exchanges his good bishop with black's bad bishop and now he's going to put his rook here king comes here then the other rook slides over He's going to take a break with d5, f5. You will see how he wins this. It's a beautiful game. You know, like, uh, sorry. He, he didn't take, by the way. He first played b3 after bishop c4. So, Anand took here. Then he got his king in. And then he played uh, f6, d5. Got the two central passers. And then eventually he managed to win. It was a great, great game. And I'm very excited if something like this, some such games happen tomorrow. Now, there's uh, no guarantee that Anand and Ivanchuk will play each other because Iva uh, Ukraine might not field Ivanchuk. Anand, uh, India may not field Anand, but chances are bright that they will play each other. On board two, uh, Shevchenko plays for Ukrainian team. And they have other two players, Onishchuk and Korobov. Korobov and Onishchuk. And if you look at their uh, player cards until now in this tournament, nine rounds that have been completed, Ivanchuk has played six games, Shevchenko has played six games, Korobo four games and Onishchuk just two games. So quite possible that Ivanchuk and Shevchenko will play, but also Korobo was in Moscow right now, he was in Russia to play the Leo Tolstoy Cup where Anish ha has just won. So, it's possible that by tomorrow, Korobo might be f relatively free because he's clearly super strong, 27-15 rapid. So, he's very, very good and uh, could be possible that Korobo plays and then India would choose, let's say, either Vidit, Adiban, uh, Hari Krishna or one of them. Okay, uh, so that was about the men's squad. Uh, by the way, a word about Shevchenko. Uh, this guy is pretty young. Uh, he is... Uh, roughly around, uh, I think, 21, 22 year old. Uh, so, he's, he's quite young and talented. 
and also Korobov is very strong and Onishchuk is also a good rapid player. Now, the women's team for Ukraine is uh, slightly, you know, this picture is from Batumi Olympiad 2018. And one of the things that you will notice here is that on the two extremes, there is Anna Muzichuk and Maria Muzichuk. So, if these two sisters would have played this event, then Ukraine would have been one of the favorites because they are two world-class female players, but they aren't playing. And that's why the burden falls on uh, Yulia Osmak. She's Osmak. And also um, Buksa on left and Zukova on right. Gaponenko's name is there, but she hasn't played a single game. So, if you look here, Buksa, uh, Osmak has played 7 rounds and scored 4.5 points. Uh, Buksa has played 6 rounds and scored 4.5. And, and Zukova has played 5 rounds and scored 4.5. And so, it's very likely that these 3 players might play. Like, usually 2 women have to play. But as it is, there's also a return match. So, there could be that all 3 of them might get a chance to play. Uh... Very experienced is Zukova. She's played so many events. While uh, Buksa on the left and uh, Osmak are relatively young. For India, we might go with Hampi Harika. But also Tanya has been doing well and so is Bhakti. So maybe they will also get a chance to play. When it comes to the youngsters, I was just uh, searching through my uh, database. And I found a picture of Galperin. So on the left. Uh, there are two uh, people. Uh, there's a girl and there's a boy. The boy is Galperin. And this picture was taken in 2018 World Junior Championship. Where Amruta is taken again on the on your right is uh, Galperin. And uh, this boy is pretty good. He, he will play one of Nihal and Pragnananda in the tournament. And uh, I was just looking at Galperin's FIDE rating. And Galperin, who is born in 2003, has a rating of 2512. He's an IM. But his FIDE, uh, Blitz rating is 2436. Sorry, Rapid rating is 2436. There is also another boy, Roshka Yevgeny, uh, who might also be possible that he might play. But if you look here, uh, Galperin has played 6 rounds and has scored 2.5, while Roshka has played 3 games and scored 2 points. So, could be that one game Roshka might play one game Galperin might play. As for India, uh, both Nihal and Prague have been in good form. Like uh, Nihal has done really well, 4 out of 4. Prague has uh, struck back with 2 wins in the last day. So, it could be possible that one of them might play, both might play. But this is our strong board. You know, here is where the point should flow in. Uh, in the girls, there is Maria Burdnik. Uh, who will take on uh, Vaishali. This looks quite likely. Uh, the other girl for for Ukraine is Sofia Rizlova, uh, who's played three rounds and has scored two points. Uh, and B Burdnik scored four and a half out of six. And uh, Savita, who's Indian youngster, might not get a game. I think Savita hasn't uh, really performed at that level in this event. But who knows? Maybe she might also play a game. So, Maria versus Vaishali could be very likely. Uh, and Maria Burdnik, by the way, on the left, did play in India. She was uh, in the World Juniors. She was here. So, that's how the overall thing looks like. Maybe it's Ivanchuk, Korobov. Um, Osmak, Buksa, Buksa slash Zukova, um, Galperin, and Burdnik. And for India, it might be Anand, Vidit, Hari Krishna Adiban, uh, Hampi Harika, Tanya Bhakti, either of them. And then we have Nihal or Prague and Vaishali. And most likely, Savita may not play. So that's how our. 12 players are. I'm very, very uh, excited as you can see all 12 of them. Uh, amazing players. The The commentary will take place from 4.30 p.m. onwards on Chess Base India with me, Amruta and Samai. But also I have to update you regarding the rules because it has changed a bit from last year. 
So imagine in the event of a drawn duel, each team wins one of the two matches or both matches are drawn. So let's say 3-3 in match one, then 3-3 in match two. Or uh, say India wins four and a half, one and a half first match and then Ukraine wins three and a half, two and a half second match. They will play two. Then the tie break shall be broken with a blitz match and board points won't be used. Okay. After the draw of colors, one match shall be played with a time control of 3 plus 2 starting from move 1. Team compositions shall be submitted by chess results not later than 10 minutes before the start. Which means that if it is 1-1, all 6 players will play a blitz of 3 plus 2. It's very exciting because that will be insanely fast, 3 plus 2. And also uh, the players can be chosen who would like to play. If the blitz is also drawn 3-3, then we'll go into an Armageddon uh, and uh, there will be there are four categories like men, women, uh, junior boy, junior girl. So any one category will be chosen and from that, there, the, the one player can go. Let's say if it's the men category, then India can nominate, let's say, Anand to go and Ukraine can nominate Korobov. And then they both will play. If it's last year, you remember, it was women who was chosen. So, Humpy went against Monika Soshko. Uh, and if it is junior, then maybe Nihal or Prague will go and from their end. So, in that way, whoever gets white pieces will have five minutes. Black will have four minutes. But if it's a draw, black wins. And that's how it will end. So, guys, that's how things are. I'm very excited for tomorrow. And I hope you two are uh, let me know in your in the comment section as to who do you think will win and what will be the score line like and see you all out at 4 30 pm on 13th of september this is sagar shah signing off bye bye